All right, I have received a rather controversial question, okay? Uh, I like these controversial questions because, uh, and especially if, if they, have, uh, they have been asked politely and uh, they, have, uh, they have substance to it, they have really gravitas, okay? So my request is please don't post hate on this person. This person is very genuine. It's a he or she, I don't know. But I'll read, out, uh, read it out to you first and then I will give you my answers. Feel free to comment down below and you don't need to appreciate it and say, no, Loy, I, you know, I trust you, you're a good guy. You can also chime in and say, no, I find you as a hypocrite. I find you two-faced. I find you, you know, say it. If it's put in a proper way, it will be there. If you start putting, you know, bad words on the mother, father, wife, daughter. Some people have been commenting about my wife. If you actually check uh, the photograph with her, uh, talking uh, stuff like, out of all the girls, you managed to get this ugly, uh, what, duckling. So I responded by saying, yeah, that's the only duck I could afford. <laughs> so, anyway, anyway, th this person is not putting anything rude. Let me read out his message first, okay? So teeny mini dash BX 5 XC. Okay, teeny mini. Itsy bitsy, teeny mini. <laughs> okay, teeny mini asks... It sounds like a girly girl. Okay. Genuine question, no hate. Fine. Okay. Genuine question, no hate. If you had a son, would you want him to turn out like you? <gasps> Tattooed and slept around with so many females and uh, did so many controversial things and is an atheist. Okay. So would I want... And, you know, not taking care of the mother and father and has left society and was a bum for so many years. So would I want my son to turn out like me? Okay. Would you want him to take a similar path of yours, sleeping around with girls, even had sex with lady boys and uh, took advantage of uh, so many people and, uh, uh, you know, slept around and uh, was a misfit, never fit into society, now looks like a freak, uh, you know, no values, does not believe in God. Okay, would I want him to take this path? Please keep in mind, please keep this in mind, this person advising me, before teaching and guiding the youth in your group, in your youth group. Okay, so a bit of caution, I think it's most probably a lady because the, these kind of very emotional statements are made by ladies or women. So this lady, she is very concerned that because I created this youth group, maybe I'm brainwashing them, maybe I'm doing something evil, sinister. I mean, look at it, uh, PDD uh, was caught for... Uh, you know, grooming youngsters. Maybe she assumes that I could be a pedophile. Uh, it's possible. It's possible. I'm not saying possible for me. It's possible for a man who is inviting youngsters to his groups. Maybe he can be teaching them anything. Maybe he can be teaching them live loose, have sex, have fun, smoke, drink drugs. There are so many predators like this on social media, TikTok, Instagram. It is a known fact. There have been people encouraging small children to take on transgenderism and chop off their genitals. Actual facts are, huh? and if you feel lonely, come to me. All that is going on. So what she's saying is a valid uh, point. Okay, then she says, on one hand, you claim to have done the most immoral things a person can do. Uh, sex and uh, I don't know what else immoral stuff have I done apart from sex. I don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs. Uh, what like if someone pays me money and doesn't uh, follow up on the service is that immoral apart from sex i don't see anything okay tattoos or i'm an atheist so these are the three immoral things i don't know can you call them immoral or is it uh, i'm not in touch with my relatives because apart from sex i don't know what other immoral stuff have i done or using bad words you can comment down below so apart from that immoral and yes i make fun of uh bad ideas in religion and uh, religion that takes advantage of people. So what is the immoral thing? I don't know what you're talking about. So you'll have to mention. While at the same time, you sometimes become, become a religious preacher. Religious preacher. What? I don't see. Like a religious preacher. Okay. If you're saying, but you become a religious preacher. I'm not a religious preacher. Don't believe in any God. So it should be like a religious preacher. Commenting on the ills of Denny, Denny, Denny Rasi, Denny Rasi. 
okay must be something indecent okay i comment uh, and i'll i'll tell you why i'll tell you why as i speak along that exists in the world and how traditional cultures are dying okay so on one hand i'm this most impo- immoral person on the other hand i'm preaching to other people i mean yeah your videos have some educational value yeah a little bit here and there yeah but they also come across entertaining okay fine yeah that is the point and objective of this uh, but for a regular viewer okay normal person like you after a while okay the outright hypocrisy becomes unbearable so according to her i'm entertaining slightly educational but i'm a bloody hypocrite okay so like she like he or she said later on uh, this is just my observation uh, watching a significant number of videos you publish i apologize if i came across rude uh maybe other people would find it rude that you're calling someone a hypocrite for me i don't know you uh, you know you can say whatever you like and i'm not the type who takes things personally to the heart okay so good question i like your question and i will answer it okay so you can uh, you guys who are watching the video comment down below and you can even say yeah she does have a point many of you have said yes she does have a point i myself i'm telling you yes she has a point okay but let me answer the places where i feel she is not right so genuine question no hate if your son okay first question is if your son if you had a son would you want him to turn out like you okay the answer is very simple absolutely no now you'll be like ha oh, so you're a bloody hypocrite you did it but your son can't do it my dear my father my my real father left me when i was i think 2 or 3 years old my stepfather beat tortured bloodied bruised battered me with a rubber uh, cane until blood used to come out that's the only communication we used to have only interaction he my mother and him my mother used to allow him to hit because unless she allowed it he is a outsider would you let your son if you didn't have a husband and you took another man would you allow the man to beat your son 7 year old shorter than your waist until blood would come out for 1 hour or 1 and a half hour so he used to do this very frequently and you'll be like yeah you must have been naughty okay that's why so being naughty for a 7 year old is that acceptable to beat with blood coming out hitting with a you know a rubberized cane for 1 hour 1 to 1 and a half what mistake justifies beating a child with that kind of torture you know what was my mistake i talked too much i was very hyper i didn't complete my homework and the teachers would say he is a very naughty boy that's all you may not believe me i would not have believed it myself but i am i i received those beatings okay now that was one so no proper upbringing there was no proper upbringing so how do you expect the child to grow and make the right choices if there is no upbringing you just let a child lose into society do you think he is going to turn up to be an ideal citizen that's number one second one is i had adhd i was hyperactive and there was no recognition or treatment for that my mother just used to tell me your mental mentally gone case uh, you are a mistake being born you should have died this is what my mother my stepfather my relatives all the friends and us get bullied in school and in church okay so how would you t- how would you expect that child to turn out to be okay then after that apart from all this i was sexually molested and raped by my own uncle and some other relatives uh, not relatives, uh, relatives friends for years and years so how would that child turn out to be simple question you are saying do you want your son to turn out like you my i have a daughter and i wanted a daughter i didn't want a son i wanted a daughter because indian society feels oh if you have a son your name can go forward oh son is matter of pride and all no but a daughter is very loving okay i always wanted a daughter i don't want my name to continue i don't know all that stuff okay so but if i got a son one is i never received upbringing proper upbringing guidance i would give my son proper upbringing guidance and that is why my wife is a stay home wife because what i never got someone to be there a friend someone to guide me is what i've told my wife you must give my child okay 
24-7, your only job is to be with a baby. And uh, where my relatives used to abuse and mock me and put me down and say, you're a mistake, you should die. Uh, what dirty blood is in you in, in relation to my first father who was supposed to be a womanizer. They say dirty blood is in you, which I guess was there in my young age. I told my wife, I want you to be very particular who speaks to the, my daughter, what they say, how do they say, so that, and make her talk more, so that we can guide her. My parents never allowed me to read a single book. You see these bookshelves, I have around uh, 12 of them outside. Uh, my parents would not allow me to read, forget a comic book, you know, tell me why was a series of books, tell me why, Encyclopedia Britannica, they wouldn't allow me to read those books. I used to secretly go to my cousin's house and read those books there. I liked reading about snakes, about jungles, about planets, about space. They would not allow. My librarian, once he came to know my situation, he used to allow me to, where everyone else was allowed one book a week, he would allow me seven to eight books every two, three days. Because I love to read. My parents, if they found out any book, they would tear it and say, just study. Only study. This all is useless. And if I had asked my parents, even a second-hand book, a book to buy, my mother would say this, Baba, no money. We don't have money. Uh, we don't have any money. This is exactly what she would say. Now, how do you fight with no money? And obviously, I couldn't ask my stepfather. And when they would find a book, they would tear it. Okay? So, I have told my wife, any book my daughter wants to read, any book you will buy it without even asking me because I want my daughter to read. And it is a daily mandatory practice for my wife to read a book to my child. And I've told her, you also will read and the baby will read. So she develops a habit. And my baby has already started a habit to read. She has a small book collection and she loves to read, by the way. She will not sleep unless my wife reads to her. Okay, so... If I was, if I'm doing that with my daughter, I would do the same with my son. Okay. Only other thing is maybe I'd be a little more rough with him because I would want him to protect himself. Something I was not taught to do and I never knew. That's why people used to bully me, molest me and do all this stuff. Okay. So I hope this answers. Would you want your son to turn out like you? I turned out this way because there was nobody to guide me. I'm there. My daughter has ADHD like me and I obviously know how to channelize. And don't worry, just because I got tattooed, you can check all my videos. There's not a single one where I've told, please tattoo yourself. In fact, I've told them, tattoo yourself only after your, you cross 40, earlier than that, 35. But if you're desperate, do it after 30. Because at least you'll know what you want because it impacts your career. So tell me, uh, if your son, would you want him to turn like you? So tell me in all this, what have I said is wrong? How did I turn out like this? There's a reason, right? Is it my fault that I was sexually raped and molested? Is it my fault? Is it my fault my parents tortured, bloody, beat it, uh, sorry, beat me up and battered me? They locked me. They used to lock me in a house. No phone, no TV, no radio, just school books. Lock me in a house for eight hours. Is that my fault? No guidance. They would never sit with my books. Never. So is it my fault? Okay. <laughs> then would you want him to take a similar path of yours? I hope that answers your question. I mean, why have a baby if you can't give the best that life has to offer? I'm not talking about money and pampering them with cash. I'm talking about basic, basic understanding, basic parenting skills. And I'm 24 hours busy, obsessed with my work. I know I can't be a good father. So I've told my wife, I will take care of all your expense. You just sit at home and take care of this baby. Make sure she becomes like you, become like you. But my wife said, no, I don't want her to be like me. I want her to be smart like you. Fine, no problem, whatever. But I said, I'm not going to make it easy. We will follow discipline and, uh, you know, protocol in the house. That's why my daughter, she, uh, you know, uh, takes a bow and respects the mother. She takes a bow, respects me. She respects the elders. And FYI, I'm an atheist, but my daughter, I have instructed my wife to ensure she follows Buddhism and she prays to Hindu gods 
and you know one day i made this video before one day what happened was my i was doing work and i just suddenly went out this is when we just got married and my wife had a baby uh, my baby was 2 years old or something i just went out you know i just went to get something to drink or something and there i saw my wife had taken a uh, you, you know some holy stuff and uh, religious books of buddhism and a hindu statue of a uh, couple of gods and kept it on the floor and she was praying okay and uh, the baby was next to her and the baby was following the same action and she was obviously telling her what to do so the minute she saw me she became like pale white she be- she got shocked okay and she was like she just immediately pushed the baby back and and i was like uh, like you know i was just wondering like why is she shocked and all that and i just walked and my wife was very uncomfortable all of a sudden she stopped praying and then when i came back and then i saw her and i i, I just saw her praying and i was like hmm, okay why then i came in i came in and i was just trying to reflect okay what am and then immediately my my wife came in almost immediately and my wife said uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry and i said sorry about what because i was trying to process the whole thing she said i didn't ask you what religion to tell the baby and you are atheist and the baby should be atheist like you i'm sorry i didn't ask you i immediately i was like trying to process the whole thing i said, wait, wait 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 what okay stop stop i said uh, where where is uh, i went out to see where she had kept the gods she had kept it down near the door down at the side she told me she kept it inside i said take it out and she thought this is what she told me right, that i asked her to bring it out so that i would break it and i throw it in the dustbin okay which i didn't know she thought she told me this later so i took them i went to my bookshelf at the top you know right at the top there were a couple of things i moved all that out and the first first shelf which was the like a box you can see right so i cleaned that and i put these statues there and i told her just decorate it with a few flowers or something or you can put it at the top so the top was better so i told her there and i said keep your candles your prayer books everything here so that you have an altar where you can pray to god and i said with the baby i want you to teach her buddhism i want you to teach her hinduism whatever you are praying teach her the culture the tradition because tomorrow if i die she'll be with you she has to follow this you know these practices protocols and i want her to be humble i want her to grow as someone who's god fearing because when you fear something bigger than you you always are humble that is why religions were created to control people to ensure obedience uh, to put the fear like they say fear of god so that they'd be good and my wife was surprised she said don't you want her to be like you i said for what i said i want her to be like you a very thai simple girl with values i said i married you not for your hot looks or anything you don't have any I married you for your character for how your parents are and how your family is given your upbringing so that's it and i told her same habits no smoking no drinking no putting stuff on facebook no socializing no going for bars pubs and all that that all follows so uh would you want her to, uh, your son to take a typical life path of yours if i didn't say for my daughter why should i allow the son there should be discipline in fact what i told you if i have a son i'll be even more strict with him even more strict because i know how boys can be i was a boy myself and i would make sure that he respects every girl every woman something that i was never thought I would guide him on what constitutes sex and at the right age porn and all that because he would be very confused there was nobody to for me to talk to and that is exactly why i became the mentor that i never had i became the father figure that i never was but here's one caveat i can't be the father figure and the ideal role model to all youngsters i made this mistake if you check gulf news type gulf news uh ue vlogger um you know guides youth or something there was a previous video where a student from indian high school dubai i think he was uh, some 17 or something he committed suicide because the parents would pressure on him to study so that time i never knew anything on youtube i just put up a video and i spoke against the educational system okay 
I didn't know that would go viral at that time, like 10,000 organic views, which was big for me because it was a new channel. And so many boys and girls from schools, they got in touch with me for my guidance. And I took it on myself, which I didn't know what would be the drawback to start guiding them. And lo and behold, I ended up with more than, I think, 300 or 400. Every single day, I was giving them my time, my guidance. And then later on only, I realized it's it's impacting my revenue. It's affecting my business. It's affecting my brand because, you know, you can't charge children. And then what I found out was if you help these youngsters for free, there is no value. One minute, they'll be nice to you. Next minute, they will care a fuck about you. And very soon... Boys and girls who are jobless, they start posting, uh, bring down Loy Macedo, uh, destroy Loy Macedo. And, and the, even the students I helped, I never got a thank you. So I was like, man, I can't do this freebie stuff. I'm not running a charity organization. So I stopped. So that is why I charge people for my services, for my time. And that's the main reason why I don't take students or youngsters as clients. Because they have not seen anything of the world. They don't have any maturity. They don't have any life experiences, but they have all these great ideals of how perfect life should be. So, and today's generation is nothing but, they are nothing but social justice warriors who believe they are entitled to a good life, free advice, free guidance. We baby boomers are, you know, whatever bullshit. So I don't have time for all this bullshit. So that's why I only deal with high net worth, high net work, uh, clients who can afford to pay 237 US dollars per hour. If you can't afford that, sorry, you're not my client. The only the lesser price for this is 20 minutes, $99. The rates are put on my website. And where youngsters are concerned, if they approach me, I s explicitly ask them, did you ask your mother and father? If they don't approve, don't do it. But some of them say, no, I'll take personal response. And fine. Okay. So that is how. And the people who are in my groups, I'm not forcing anybody. I am not at all forcing. You can literally check if you want, do a background check or whatever. Uh, if anyone has to join my group, and that also such sensitive groups, I ask them for their name, age, what they do, where they are from, social media links, and the passport and Aadhaar card or ID card copy. I verify all this information so only legit people join. And even after that is verified, if they misbehave, if they talk crap, if they bully someone or if they talk sexually to any woman in my group, immediately they are blocked and banned. No second chances. They have to follow protocol. It's more like an army where yes, sir and yes, madam. Everyone. So they have to give respect and take respect. So you tell me, you tell me what am I doing wrong? Okay, so, and then you, you're saying, okay, please keep in mind before teaching the youth. I never ask them to come to me. They are coming to me. What do you want me to do? Tell me, what do you want me to do if they are coming to me? They are lost. They are searching for someone. So when they ask me, I answer. What do you want me to do? Tell them, bugger off. If I see a small child crying. Here's one thing, which I never post videos. A girl tells me her father raped her. Her father is sexually molesting her and she's crying and telling me this. What do you want me to say to her? Bug her off because I have been a playboy? Or a boy tells me, I'm, uh, he's crying, I want to commit suicide. Actual video he's sharing with me. What do you want me to tell him? Tell me. Send them to you. Why don't you put your contact details? I, I, I'm telling you, I'll be more than happy to put your contact details. I will pin that comment. And I will ask everyone to meet you and talk to you. I don't get paid nothing for this. I'm just doing it out of not even a social call. I'm doing it out of the fact that I didn't have anyone. Human decency, man. And then you're saying, on one hand, you claim to have done the most immoral things a person can do. What are the immoral things? Tell me. Let's, let's communicate. Comment. Your comment is there, no? What immoral? Apart from sex, what immoral? Giving up religion, immoral. Uh, not keeping in touch with parents who are uh, who try to destroy my life. Left society. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I've not hurt anyone. What is the immoral thing? Murdered someone? I've not done that. What is the immoral thing? Can you specify? And here's my question. I've had sex here. Are you pure? Are you the Virgin Mary? 
Are you the person who has never masturbated, never had sexual thoughts, been absolutely pure? Tell me, are you so pure that you can identify other people as immoral, but you're pure? I'm not being rude, asking you. Do you have the guts? Do you have the courage to put your real identity, your name, your face, your my email address, phone number, residential address is you can check it online. I have literally exposed everything. And do you know why I have openly shared my drawbacks? Because I don't want people to get the impression this guy is a goody, goody guy. He's a nice guy. He's a goody two shoes. No, I don't want your business. I don't want your money. If you assume I'm a nice guy. People have told me, Law, you lose a lot of business money. I said, I'm fine with that. I will be transparent and I'll be honest. I don't want otherwise money. I don't want money. You're such a good guy. So holy, so religious. People have said, take the name of Jesus. Don't talk about uh, bad things about religion. Take the name of Allah, Jesus, uh, Lord Shiva. Praise them. You'll get more customers. I don't want. I will be. What you see is what you get. I'm not one of those two-faced people. That is why you have a lot of people with suits and ties. Politicians, very decent with their family. They'll take photographs. But when they go for a holiday to these third world countries, they will target underage children. They will target young girls. They will uh, take part in this uh, incest, uh, sorry, uh, this sexual orgies. What do you think uh, all these Epstein and all these people, all decent people publicly, privately, some other thing. I'm sorry, but I'm not like that. So if you're searching for that kind of individual, that kind of Jesus Christ, I mean, you really need to find out someone. In fact, why do you follow my content? Entertainment? Yeah, good, you're enjoying. Some good things, yeah, you're enjoying. But then you enjoy all this, but then you say you're immortal. Oh, you're a hypocrite. Doesn't that make you a hypocrite? You don't like the person and you find this person distasteful, immoral, but yet you follow. What does that say about your character? Tell me, what does it say about your character? You are following someone immoral. You are listening to someone immoral. You are listening to someone who is a hypocrite. What does that make you? Why don't you only listen to good people? I am not being rude. Asking you straightforward questions. Okay. So, then what she says, uh, immoral. While at the same time you become a religious preacher. I don't give a fuck about religious preachers. I'm just talking common sense. Everything I told you right now is simple, basic common sense. Why? Only religious preachers can talk about being good to others. Like, for example, when I go to 7-Eleven and my daughter, she can buy whatever she wants. I tell her, but one thing at a time. So she buys a Kinder chocolate, which I purchased, I think, over 200 of them because I got it at a cheaper price. She loves. And I know she's coming back. I want to surprise her. So she loves the Kinder egg. When I was small, I used to love them. My parents used to never buy. So I, I used to buy. I buy for my daughter or anything she likes. But whenever I see, whenever I'm buying for, if I see a poor child from Myanmar or Burma or one of these poor countries, there are a lot of these laborers who come to 7-Eleven and they buy their children. They can afford maybe a two baht or five baht small little lollipop or something. And this small baby girl or the boy is looking at my daughter and it hurts them. And they look at them, mommy, 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 I want, you know, they'll tell in the local language, mommy, I want. It reminds me of me. It reminds me when I was small and I asked my mother who had the money and I saw another child having a Snickers, a Twix. Mom, mommy, I, I want no money, Baba, no money. You know what I do? What I buy for my daughter? I buy for that kid. Obviously, if I buy a, you know, a thousand bucks thing, I'm not going to buy a thousand bucks thing. And then if there are 10, 20 kids, I'm not going to buy all of them. But I definitely buy something worthwhile if I know the parent can't afford. Why? Because I don't want, I, I remember what I went through. This is not for, I'm not sharing this to tell you I'm a saint, I'm a good guy. No, fuck all that. I'm seriously telling you, fuck all that if that is what you think. It's simple, basic human decency. You see a small child who wants to eat something and the parents don't have the money. I don't lose anything by giving a few chump chains. For me, it's chump change. I don't lose anything.
I bought sometimes a toy for another child when I saw that child not sulking, not screaming, but hurting. Then what? You become a religious preacher and the ills of denigracy, whatever that exists in the world and how cultures are dying. I speak on issues which matter. And I talk to the point on relevant matters. I don't hide behind it. Like if someone asks me about porn, masturbation, sex, um, smoking, drinking, oh, they ask me lots of questions. What do you want me to say? Chi, 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 chi. Not good. What? Then they will go to somebody else. If I don't answer, they'll go to somebody else. And what are the chances they'll end up with the wrong company? What happened to me? I had so many questions. Nobody was there to answer. So whom did I get it from? Whomsoever. Was it right? Was it wrong? I didn't know. I tried it. People actually told me to smoke and drink. But thankfully, I never touched. Because I saw what happens when people smoke and drink. I mean, your videos have some educational values and they are sometimes entertaining. You say I'm a hypocrite. I'm immoral. I'm whatever. Why are you watching? Speaks more about your character. Is it because you're two-faced? Just asking. But for a regular viewer, after a while, the outright hypocrisy becomes unbearable. Tell me exactly, specifically, what is the hypocrisy? I've been transparent. I've been open. I've been honest. What is the hypocrisy here? That I had sex with so many girls. What you want me? Oh, I shouldn't be a hypocrite. My daughter, I had sex with so many girls. You have sex with so many boys. We are even. Is that what you want me to do? Or if I have a son, I had sex with many girls. Son, you also have sex with many girls. Then you'll say, you are making him a loose character like you. Okay. So if I tell him, don't have sex with any girl, but I had. So then you'll call me a hypocrite. So this way also I'm a bad guy. That way also I'm a bad guy. So what am I supposed to do? I made these mistakes or these choices in my life. So should I encourage? If I encourage you, say, I'm, I'm going to turn my son like me. If I don't encourage, oh, you're a hypocrite. So which one is right, my dear? Tell me, which one is right? Are you living a perfect life, a sinless life, a pure life? Are you the epitome of what every boy and girl should become? Or are you just looking and seeking and finding out, no, this person cannot be so nice. They should be some, oh, this is immoral. Oh, this is a hypocrite. Are you the type who enjoys picking up Something bad, imperfect, evil. So in a white sheet, you look at the black dot. See? Told you. Because that is exactly the society I left. That is exactly like my mother and father. So you might be just like them. Maybe not torturing. But exactly the society, the person, the individual, the families, I stay away from. That is why I'm happy in my little world. Right now, it has been seven months since I'm alone. There are enough and more massage parlors, sex bars, girls ready for sex. Less than $27, I can get a blow job. Seven months, I didn't go. I'm man enough to tell you if I did. I am man enough. And there's nothing anyone can do about it because my money, my life. I'm not going. Why do you think I'm fasting right now? Why do you think I'm disciplining myself right now? Do I need to fast for 10 days with no food, only water? Can you do that? Do you have the character and the capacity to do that? Do you have the character and capacity to have these groups and mentor and guide these people for free? Have you done anything worthwhile other than looking at other ways? You are looking at my faults and spending time for that. Am I looking at other people, what they are doing and their faults? Hey, what is the group you are? I follow your content. I follow everything. But I'm going to badmouth you and I'm going to write to you. Justify yourself to me. I'm the authority. Justify. Come on. Speaks volumes about your character. And my, uh, what outright hypocrisy becomes unbearable. Why are you subscribed to my channel? Not being rude. Why are you subscribed? Why are you so shameless? Not being rude. I'm asking. Why are you so shameless? Why are you two-faced? Why are you the type who watches the content, picks, knows that there is good content, some, knows that there's entertainment value, but still you say you're immoral, you're a hypocrite. Why do you follow me? Because why? Why? Why are you two-faced? 
why you such a like you said hypocrite no why where are your values shame on you seriously shame on you in fact if i was rude i would say i pity your husband i pity your spouse your wife i pity because you're two faced i pity your son and daughter who if they become like you oh my goodness they should have died if i was rude i would say that but i'm not rude like you i'm not rude think about what i said you are hiding behind a keyboard and mouse and monitor anonymous i name location residential address phone number email everything is out in the open my sins and my achievements who has more character you or me who has more courage you or me and who is the person who is what you see is what you get you or me if i was a hypocrite i wouldn't answer your statement if i was immoral right now i'm alone i am the bread earner i can live i can go for holiday i can sleep with multiple girls i can have fun 7 months no sex what is immoral I don't smoke i don't drink don't do drugs don't cheat people what is immoral huh what is hypocrite in fact like greta thunberg how dare you you are saving graces you are an anonymous person you are a nothing nobody both online and real life that's why i told you if i was rude i would say i pity your spouse i pity your mother and father for giving birth to someone like you who thinks they are a holy nice religious person but you are insecure he only fast rude i tell you this you are insecure you are unstable you cherry pick only the bad when there are you know like jesus christ said i'm using jesus christ before you point out the, the sticks or the twig or the small splinter in your brother's eye look at the log in your own you call me im- immoral hypocrite yet you watch my content maybe there's a dark side to you which you're keeping hiding i have the guts to say every single bad thing i've done with my identity to you anyway like i said not feelings not being rude i respect you thank you for your comments and yeah feel free anyone who thinks otherwise and where other youtubers say please like please subscribe even diary of a ceo just say you know 67% of you watch the video i request you please do this as a favor subscribe i am telling you don't subscribe don't subscribe i'm not looking for big numbers small small community of people who trust me and i trust them enough got it i look forward to you answering this video and if you are a person of character is my open challenge you will put your details out in the open so that people know this person has nothing to hide but if you can't you are so afraid you are a two faced person you are what you told me you are a hypocrite you are immoral and like you said no you want your son to be like your daughter do you want your son and daughter to be like you i wouldn't want my son or daughter to be like you not being rude just telling you good bad ugly feel free comment down below thank you for your comment and uh, no i didn't feel bad about it and no i didn't feel that you're rude and neither do i believe i should be rude my love and respect to you have a wonderful day and guys feel free comment down below and please don't put any hate against her speak on the content speak about me that's it you guys take care and yeah speak on people like this not her like this what do you have to say and please don't join my groups please don't follow me please don't subscribe to me 
please don't. I'm a very bad person, not a role model. And like she said, maybe I'm a hypocrite, immoral and evil or whatever. Okay. Having said that, this is me signing off. You guys take care.